Hold on, let me You're think. Gonna maybe, lie to maybe us? when I was younger, I know bro. you get exactly. Yeah. I know at some Actually, point. no. I have not done a first night. That's pretty gross, bro. First night tongue it just sounds disgusting. Oh, come on, bro. Girl, That's disgusting. I, I, after the club, <laughs> she's been, <laughs> she been dancing. She yeah. a little sweaty. Yeah, you a yeah. first night tongue I am not a first, first night, night tongue yeah. I feel like he's projected onto me. That's why That's why <laughs> he's, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sweating and shit, nah, bro. I, I will not do that. I don't think I have bro, done that either. I'm Probably a dirty like boy. the third or the second time we bro, kicked it. After all my years of, of being married, now I'm like super grossed out at the idea of like hooking up. Um, just in terms of like at the club, niggas is sweaty, bro. I would, yeah. you'd have to shower, bro. Like we gotta shower first thing. Yeah. Cause yeah, bro, yeah. motherfuckers is sweaty, dog. I'm thinking about the hygiene now. Like that whole, it's all fucked up for me now. Yeah. I, I couldn't go back. It's what is it? Up. What does it mean when a guy doesn't finish? The pussy wasn't good. No. Okay. No. There's several things. Go ahead. No, go ahead. the pussy yeah. wasn't good. Pussy wasn't or good. Or you wore a condom. You would wear a condom. condom. Pussy wasn't good. Or like. You thought about I'm, it too I'm much. I'm in my. I'm in my fucking bag. Nah, bro. Well, fuck, no, no, no. I'm in my. Oh, you're like bag. you're beating it up. Like I'm good. in my fucking bag. Nah. I'm like, I'm like, you good? Like I'm taking on her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, are you straight? She's it's like, like no. this one's for her. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm shaking. The only way I could co-sign is if maybe if you beat your meat like twice the, during that oh, day okay. before you was going at it. That makes sense. But bro, past that, unless it was just the rubber, because condoms, bro. Yeah, you might be able to beat that shit for like an hour. But if it was no condom, bro, I don't know what happened. Where your shit wasn't nothing But if you were gonna go Beat your meat There's no way you beat it For an hour So that means That the pussy was not on Up to par I'm a dirty motherfucker bro When you say You don't beat your meat For an hour I just instantly Like shame myself So you do beat For an <laughs> hour bro Without nothing Damn Practice bro. practice practice What are you just Holding out for a whole hour yeah, straight Yeah it's like Fucking edge I gotta, I gotta find the right video Well that's dip Okay but once you find The video and you start there's no way. But he's hour, still beating bro. his meat throughout the, all the videos that he's looking through. You know? I'm scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's, yeah, that, that's the worst. If you know, just, uh, this one's not doing it for me. Or when you fucking do it on the wrong part. You're like, or the video starts loading and buffering. Oh, And right then his the ass end. comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bro, it's like you about to nut, and then all you see is ass. Like, that's, oh, the bro, that's the worst camera angle ever. That's the worst camera angle ever. Why do they do that? Like, why do they do <laughs> Don't that? Don't ever show me the dude's ass, and he's like pounding bro, from the back. Like, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. That should be weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Right. Let's get this thing jumped off. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, we gotta play it. We yeah, gotta play yeah, it. yeah. You know what the fuck time it is, man. Let them know. Hey. Man, Wait, hold on. you know what time it is, man. It's a it's a really good podcast. Really man. good. Home of a really good podcast. Home. It's actually my birthday week. My birthday what? was on Wednesday. Ooh. Today's Friday. I got Ooh. my goons with me. You know, Sakibi Comedy in the motherfucking building. Kai Creations in the building. I recently yeah. saw he did some photo shoots. Oh yeah. He's in the building, man. You Thank probably you. you probably already saw him, if anything. But anyways, we live, man. Pod 31. 31. We in the building, Ooh. baby. We live. We present. We direct. Friday night. Friday night lights, man. We we ready to go, man. Been getting some feedback from the gang, some feedback from the cast, man. One lady said, Why would you sit there just to be ignorant on a podcast? To that I replied, that's really mean. Wait, 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 on what video? It was a old one. It was um <laughs> it, it was the baby one. The baby when he got canceled for HIV, uh. the comment said why would y'all? Why would y'all sit down on the podcast <laughs> just to be ignorant? And I swear, my response. I think I said, um, "Hey, that's not nice." In a lot of cats, one of the words was definitely capitalized. But regardless, man, we're here to be ignorant, man. Oh, yeah, we're yeah, prison. Yeah, yeah, we lied. Exactly. It's our, it's, it, motherfucker, we putting this out. This is our fucking this platform. This nigga got a balloon like, on his head. Yeah. yeah. Like, you think, <laughs> what you know about this? Well, no, you got to understand, like, we're potting. So, like, some of the takes that we have or some of the stuff we say is, like, for entertainment. And, like, even after the pod, like, we're like, oh, fuck, we could have said this, could have said that, could have, you know, worded that a little bit better. But for, like, entertainment purposes, and it's like, we're ignorant, but we're not, like... Blatantly ignorant. We're not like dumb ignorant. We you have know, our like, moments. Yeah, yeah, we have our moments, and we can have fun with some topics. Bro, that's what a podcast is. You have your moments of like your seriousness. Yeah. You have your moments of comedy. Yeah. You have your moments of ignorance. Yeah. All of that shit. It, it may. It, it's who we are. Spice yeah. it that's up. That's what a it little. is. Like yeah. you know, it's Spice like it up we're not little. always gonna be some serious ass fucking pod. Yeah. Like why would we want to do that? You guys entertain serious shit. No. Really, bro. Really? But I like it though, cause that that episode that uh clip was mad long ago. Yeah. So I appreciate it. I like that clip. That clip I mean, was hilarious. The baby shit. <laughs> yeah. When you I got mean, HIV shit, bro. Who is? It was probably like Dale. Was probably being the most ignorant. It was probably Dale. Yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but I'm gonna watch it back just to see. I'm not. I don't even care, bro. I like. I like all the comments, but I am going to now. My thing is, I need to respond to every comment. I feel That's bad in the I past. Mean. I wasn't responding to them. Now 
I'm responding to every co- well, I know, there's one because I we got to. so many comments, so it's like I, I understand why you don't flash respond. flood, man. You know, oh, it, it's it, it hurts. You you begin arthritis in your Bro, fingers from exactly. typing and shit. But you let's, know? <laughs> exactly. Let's get on to really what really matters, man. It's my birthday week. Happy I am birthday, 23. Yeah. Michael Jordan. Ooh, Michael yeah. Jordan. How you feel, bro. bro? Do you feel different from 22? Like, is there, bro? Not at all. Because all right, so I had a period where. Leading to my birthday, like maybe some weeks ago or like a month ago, I was like, fuck, like I just didn't like it. Like, dang, 23, I'm not excited. You know, Nas is going to keep being like, your birthday is coming up. She knows <laughs> yeah. she's excited for it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm just feeling like, fuck, man. But in the, in that time, you know, just getting shit queued up where actually I'm comfortable with what 23 is going to look like and like what the daily grind is going to look like and what, what's being set up. I'm impatient with that, though, because I'm waiting for, you know, some some cars to come on the yeah. way. And shit. You're going to take a lot more things personal this year? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jordan, two, three, yeah. Two, yeah. <laughs> Everything taken personally, man. But at the same time, at the same time, when you see people that aren't doing the shit or like you, man, just focus on you. And that's really yeah. what I'm thinking about. Like, as long as my shit isn't in alignment, that's why y'all talking about, oh, is he coming? Is he? No, I'm not worried about it. Like, I'm yeah. not at all. As long as we doing our shit, the content is coming. We got different shit cooked up. Like, I am not holding nobody's hand, waiting on nobody. Because I already know how them bands is coming in. We coming with heat. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so that's why now it's like 23 literally just didn't. Not that it didn't resonate, but like I had a great birthday. I was out with Nas. We went nice. to Ritz Carlton. Got some. Ooh, uh, it was yeah, more like fancy. brunch. It was a little later on. Yeah, got a little out in Santa Barbara. Mimosas. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, mimosas yeah. to the max. She was lit off one, but she was, <laughs> she was she was she was beating me to the punch though, because I was I guess I was lagging. But we got a couple more, and then uh, we went wine tasting. That was cool. But uh, honestly, past that, it just felt like a great day. Like she got to take the day off. That was cool. We never really get a full day of just hanging. So that was really yeah, the most fun up? part of it. But past that, like, I didn't feel much different. Woke up in the morning. My usual wake-up time, traded. The next morning, like, went to bed on time, traded. Tonight, I'm not going to bed on time. We about to turn up. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn up night. But past that, everything just feels like it's on track. Hey, bro, you, since you're in a relationship, like, how often do you be going on dates? Like, mm. now that's been, like, how, how long has it been? Bro, three years? Three years. But um, honestly, bro, what our schedule is like, it's just not the most productive, like, time for us. Like, we'd rather get a workout in. Like, What about after, earlier? Um, yeah, you know, you got a weird, we got a weird relationship. So date night was like sneak out and we're going to be out till like midnight smoking and chilling. That was more best friend yeah. mode. Okay. Date night. It's been a minute. I mean, I guess my birthday was the date night, but not too many date nights, bro. Because after she get off work, shit, we about to go work out or we about to come here and chill and work on our shit. Like kind of, we either go grind mode or we go workout mode. So we just don't have time to be like just spending date, crazy yeah, or like chill, eating out so all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and, good. You got a girl that's like that. That's understanding of that. I feel like there's a lot of girls that are not understanding of I that know, too. Yeah, so it's like yeah, that's, a that, you, that's a that's a good bro, one. I've been seeing niggas like they out on dates all the time, spending, and I know the niggas paying for everything. And to be honest, like my personality, like I want to pay for everything, but she just nah, I guess not I got now. lucky. Not no, now. no, no, no. I just got lucky because she won't let me pay for shit. Like she just that's, that's good. She that is really good. If I pay, she gonna try to Venmo me or she gonna try to i hate when we fucking up there arguing at the fucking uh cashier and i'm like stop bro let me but it, it's it's a ba- it's a good problem to have because yeah. we're always gonna fight for who's paying and shit what about you you just let her pay you i feel like you're a player like that man shit man it depends bro how confidently <laughs> she, put, she pull out that wallet <laughs> <laughs> bro when i was in high school bro i got someone gifted me when i graduated high school two thousand bro Damn. two thousand dollars and at the time I was like, bro, I'm going to talk to Ms. Goldstein. Ask her, like, what should I do? How should I invest this? I never yeah. ended up talking to her. Bro, I blew that 2000 in the summer. Yeah. I was paying for everything with the yeah. girls, with, like, every single thing, which at the time, I'm thinking, like, oh, yeah, I should, like, you know, I'm, you know you, you're know, you the guy. You're going to pay for everything. You're not even thinking about her paying for stuff. And she didn't have a job. She's a bum. But no, I'm just playing. <laughs> but, <laughs> but either way, like, you, you just naturally, you want to pay for shit. This Nas is, like, a rare breed where, like, for her the legit like what you can't be spending like that like she yeah, trying to yeah, be yeah. she trying to save for both of us but when it does come time to pay she's trying to pay like right, i got golly you got, foragers yeah. baby <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, she, she, she got the groupon for the wine for real, tasting yeah. and, shit. Yeah, and i'm up. fucking that's i gotta sneak venmo her to shit so she don't when she don't notice it's cool i venmo her yeah. shit and she the type she'll fucking venmo me shit back like bro <laughs> you can't venmo me back man like, yeah, how long yeah, we gonna yeah, just yeah, keep yeah, going yeah. back and forth with the venmo but, but no but you got somebody that understands the vision like, yeah, yeah. like align yourself with somebody that understands the vision. Like y'all should be able to work together. Right. You know, like you yeah. and your partner should be able to make money together. Yeah. If yeah. you're not making money together or working together, it's like what are we doing? Because we're just fucking and we're and we're calling each other like you know yeah, in, in a relationship. Yeah, yeah. So it's like we gotta grow together. If there's no growth in the relationship, 
And yeah. it's not necessarily like growing together, like right next to each other. Right, exactly. But it's like, like allowing he, each other to I grow exactly, from you. Yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly. Like, and, and like that takes a lot of like self awareness to understand that, hey, you know, like I love spending time with you, but we can spend time in other ways that don't involve like bro. dropping hella bread on food, but then at the going same, to the movies all the time. Bro, at the same time, then you got these like niggas that aren't doing shit on Twitter all day. Like, wait, should you have to get the girl a Birkin? Should you be paying her bill? Like, fam, find a good even, girl. What are we even talking about? Like, how? There's no way you can be trying to elevate and even be having conversations of that. Like, should I be doing this? Should I be like, fam? Yeah, no. Unless you really got it, it's like, bro, you are not locked in. Yeah, you're, you're not, not locked you're in because up. Yeah. they talk about like you, you, the the five people you hang around the most. That's gonna like dictate your success, like what Facts. they're on. Right. That's that plays a big factor in what you're on. So if if that one person you're with, probably the majority of the time, your girl is not someone that's helping you to elevate. Yeah, bro. Like, why are we even talking about? Should you be buying her a burger? Right. Should you be buying like, fam? If you're not where you want to be, like, you hurting yourself. Don't buy bro. me shit. Like, yeah, she, yeah. That's what she need to say. Don't buy me another yep. thing. Don't pay for my nails. Yep. Don't take me out to no dates. She need like, to be mad at you if you buy. You need some to get shit your expensive. shit together. Like, yeah, our yeah. shit together. Like, I'm following you type shit. Like, and and like when, when you do this type of stuff, like when you guys both are trying to grow in your own own uh, like area of life. When you guys do go on dates or, like, you guys do buy shit for each other, it's so much more special. Yeah. yeah. You know, because, like, think about it. If we had, like, crazy... If we're millionaires right now, which which allegedly... We, we are right, right now. No, we right now we are. I got allegedly a couple minutes tied yeah, up. Exactly. It's just tied up right yeah, now. That's bro, exactly. like, offshore calves. But, um, yeah, it's like, if you're constantly... It's, it's like cell phone and dopamine. You know, you keep feeding your brain with dopamine or, like, you'll take a nicotine hit or you, you keep looking at your phone, you look at your lights. Mm. You... You, you get like dopamine withdrawal yeah. you know so it's like it's the same thing if you constantly keep buying this shit you're kind of setting that precedent and don't get me wrong like of course in the future i do want to be able to do that but like Bro, but you're gonna overload like going? like going on dates and then next thing you know it's like you're spending way too much time together it's more like you still i think that's like the downfall of certain relationships you guys spend way too much fucking time together and then you guys don't miss each other and then uh, it doesn't yeah. it doesn't really like fall through as well. Yeah. You know? Let me miss you. Let me like have a day or two by myself and like get my own shit and be like, damn, where's she at? Yeah. <laughs> and then when I hit you up, I'm like, hey, what's up? And it's like I haven't seen you in two days. How you doing? Versus like every single day, every minute, what you doing? I hate a I, I hate a every day what you doing text. Like Yeah, like I feel like I was like that. Yeah. bro. I used to be always asking like W Y D What are you doing? What are you doing? Nah, I t because <laughs> W Y D don't get you responses all the time. Yeah, nah. So you gotta put the watch I do it. <laughs> 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 what you doing? That spice it up too. Yeah. Now you gotta put the dude. Bro, but <laughs> even bro, even as a homie, if you know one of the homies is broke, like you can't, like you would never just let this nigga be buying all the alcohol or just paying for hella shit. Like it wouldn't make sense because you know it. Like if you know a certain homie broke, you just yeah. gonna move accordingly. Where the fuck Tory going? I know. Where you just like spread it out of here? I think Someone you get a white claw, bro. A white claw. Okay. Well, anyways. Bro, even as a homie, you know when certain homies is kind of broke. Like, you're not trying to, like, they, you can't just let them pay for shit. Like, yeah. just, bro, I'm getting this, this. We'd even look like, bro, are you sure? Like, I don't know if that's the move. You kind of broke. Yeah. And it's like, how you have, a, like, a life partner and she not looking at you like, she's not thinking like, yo, this nigga, we just went out five days, like, five days in a row. This nigga paid for everything. Each meal was about $30. I didn't even finish my shit any time we went out. Yeah. And nigga, yeah. Like, he <laughs> yeah. just went like, that, how does that not cross your mind? But. Bro, also, that shit yeah. irks me. Since I since I like work at a restaurant, I always see like people go on dates and then the girl won't finish the food. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and order a bunch too. They'll order a bunch, not finish the food, and I'm like, you guys want some takeout boxes? And yeah. she's like, nah. I'm like, what is oh, wrong yeah, with yeah. you? Bro, what the fuck is wrong with and, you? And you the, got kids. <laughs> like, and it's funny, like the opposite of that too is like, we're well, not the opposite, but like I used to work at a coffee shop, and anytime I see a couple there and the guys and the girls paying for the guy. I'm like, bro, get her fucking coffee, bro. It's five dollars, bro. Like, what are you like? You really got her paying for no, your no, shit? No, 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 switching off and look, shit. Look, look, look. If girls, okay, look. This is one thing I noticed with girls that they will end up paying for the cheaper shit. We'll oh, go, we'll like go some to, coffee. Well, exactly. They'll they'll pay for the coffee or like we'll we'll go to like maybe somewhere like fucking Subway. She's like, I'll pay for this. I got it. But but like when we going out to like fucking uh, what's it called, Maestros? 
Like, if we going out to a firehouse steakhouse or something like that, motherfucker, that's you. You yeah. you ain't paying bills this much. She you know? do the little <laughs> do the little uh, purse shuffle. Just act like she's shuffling shit around. You, oh, I, I respect the purse shuffle. Yeah. Because if you don't purse shuffle, I, that's a red flag. Yeah, Instant I'll, red I'll, flag. I'll, it's fuck off you. Rip too. Yeah. We ain't dating. Do the purse shuffle. Kiss Come on. my ass. I'll you know, like, uh, why the fuck would I, why, why would I even, like, involve myself with you if you ain't even shuffling in your purse? Even yeah. if you ain't even, if, even if you don't have a wallet in there, at least rustle some shit in there. All right, so we've seen this Texas abortion law that just got passed recently. Yeah. Um, here, I'll read off what it says. It says... Pretty fucked up if you ask me. Exactly, mm. man. Uh, with the U.S. Supreme Court mum, a new law went into effect in Texas that bans abortions after about six weeks of pregnancy. Crazy. Uh, to be exact, four to six weeks of pregnancy. Crazy. And then that's well before many women even know they're pregnant. Um, exactly. The law allows... Private citizens to sue abortion providers and anyone else who who helps a woman obtain an abortion, including those who give a woman a ride, which means Uber, and then to a clinic or provide financial assistance to obtain an abortion. Private citizens who bring these suits don't need to show any connection to those who are suing. And then let's see. What does the Texas law prohibit? It bans abortion as soon as uh, as soon as cardiac arrest is a uh, cardiac cardiac activity is detectable that's around six weeks which is which is before a lot of people know that they are pregnant other states have tried to do this but those laws have been challenged by abortion Texas rights groups smoking dick. and <laughs> blocked by federal courts again and again that's crazy let's see, yeah. let's see. that is crazy oh this, this this is far this law empowers individuals to enforce an abortion ban how would th- that practice work anyone who successfully sues an abortion provider under this law could be a ab- awarded at least ten thousand dollars he said this is fire <laughs> <laughs> yo this is a fire this is a bar right here and to prepare for that texas right to life has set up what it calls a whistleblower website where people can submit anonymous tips to about anyone they believe is violating this they law. snitching exactly wow bro. these lawsuits aren't against women says John Siegel with the Texas the right to life. How are they them? not against women? Like the lawsuit would men can't get the abortions either. The really? lawsuits would be against the individuals making money off of the off of the abortion. The abortion industry itself. So this is not to spy on your neighbor and see if they're having an abortion. How is it not to spy on your neighbor? You know talking about? You could just privately sue someone. You have to have. You don't have to have any connection to the person who you yeah. found out about this shit, and you're getting rewards and shit for it. Just too. snitch on them, bro. Fuck Texas. That's crazy. The only good thing about Texas nowadays is, first of all, they have bad weed laws, so that's a bad. That's a fuck them. But the other thing is low property. I might. I might find some real guns, estate in Houston. What? Oh, yeah. guns too, bro. You know how many uh, AR-15s and fucking sniper rifles Texas. you have in Texas? But that's crazy. Cal, yeah. First off, the four to six weeks is crazy because you you basically just saying you can't get an abortion, bro. Yeah. And you guys, it, you you guys know what Roe versus Wade is? I've heard of that. Bit. Okay, so on January twenty second, nineteen seventy three, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of an unmarried Texas woman that identified as Jane Roe, wishing to have an abortion safely and legally in in a state that prohibited it. Uh, Roe brought a class action suit. Um, challenging the constitutionality of Texas criminal abortion laws. According to court documents, abortion were banned in Texas unless advised by a doctor or to save the life of the mother. The Supreme Court ruled the criminal abortion law violated the due process clause of the 14th uh, Amendment, which protects against state action to uh, state action the right to privacy, including women's qualified right to terminate her pregnancy. So let's talk about this shit, bro. This shit is wild. I don't even know what that last shit meant, but it sounded like she got a (laughs) dub. Roe vs. Wade got a dub, but now niggas is not getting dubs. Bro, the four to six weeks is obviously a joke, bro. That's literally four weeks of pregnancy. Bro, think about how, like, uh, your girl, I'm someone, everyone's girl at some point probably has been like, oh, yeah, my period's late or it hasn't come yet. Bro, two weeks period hasn't come. Bro, I've had a girl on like birth control the period didn't come for over a month mm. and oh and then God. it finally came but like that shit happens to people bro so it's like obviously six weeks in bro not that many girls is gonna go check to see if they're pregnant during that time but if you're a girl in texas 
I would. Like, if as soon as your period don't come, bro, you might as well just start taking the test because they're not that expensive to get. Yeah. It's way better than the bullshit ass laws they enforcing out there. That's mm. the way you get around. That's the way you at least make it work for yourself. Like, fuck it. So as soon as my shit don't come, if a week goes by, I'm getting my, I'm gonna get a pregnancy test. Two of them bitches just to make sure. You yeah. know what's the worst part about this? That they don't even have an exemption for rape or incest. Yeah, I was gonna say that, yeah. Bruh, like, yeah. are you kidding me? Like, yeah. think, like, okay, look, abortion is bad enough as it is on a woman, and this is their choice to go and get it. Like, some, some women will break up with a guy just because she had to go through an abortion. Like, that shit sucks. Like, it's traumatizing. Shit, bro, right. it's traumatizing. You're, you're, you're killing life. Like, think about how you have to sit with that, or if, if you want to consider it life at the moment. Yeah. But, like... Yo, it, it like fucks up their insides. Like that's that's not some healthy shit. Like even a plan B is so bad for a woman plan to B get for sure. because it it's it's this super strong ass hormone that's just gonna kill off whatever's inside of you, and that's just gonna give you terrible side effects. You're gonna have vomiting, nausea, all these other like side effects that nobody wants to go through, hmm. but we will go through it if we have to. You know, or not we. Like, women w- women ha- at least have the choice to go through it if they have to. Yo, if you're taking a bunch of Plan Bs, though, bro, dang, dog. Like, your body's You probably fucked. get used to it, though. Bro, the pros. But your body's just... <laughs> 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 you might as well just be on birth control. Yeah. But birth control, too. Like, some girls will have their period for, like, two months. You know, like, they're, they're still Whoa. bleeding. They're, they're period... Like, who the fuck wants to be on their period for two months? Even if it's lighter... Still, yeah. But yo, no. like, you, nobody wants to be feeling those hormones and like bleeding. Like, are you kidding me? Like, that's like abortions bad as it is. Now that you're taking away the right to have an abortion, the crazy part is that even after you have a kid and you can't really, you don't have the funds to raise this kid. What the fuck are you supposed to do? Is the government gonna aid you? Fuck no. Yeah, they're nah. not gonna aid you. Yeah, that's nah, crazy. I mean, bro. I think I think the craziest like thing about this story because I was gonna mention the exemption from like rape. Cause I, when, anytime I talk about abortion, cause it's very, it's a very touchy subject for a lot of people, um, and I always bring up the idea of like, okay, if you did get raped, you might want to abort that baby, right? Yeah. And then I was thinking, okay, maybe there's an option that you just, you know, give it up for adoption, you know. But it, that's such a big decision. But I don't think Supreme Court, where I don't think they should have any say about what women should do with their body, you know. Like mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think men should vote about what women do with their body, especially when it comes to abortion. And yeah. To say that, yeah, to say that yeah. it's illegal, like I don't know that if there's any credence or right to say that it's illegal for you to do that you know i mean depending on if you consider you know however many months however many weeks to make a baby Mm -hmm. but like if you're making a conscious decision as an adult to say like i am not prepared to bring a baby into this world you're gonna run a serial killer i don't want to go into that like i don't want to i don't want to fucking put them up for adoption whatever the case is you should be able to have a safe legal abortion if you are a consenting adult that understands like what they're doing in their right mind and have somewhere to do that safely. But to say that you cannot do it at all and just force you to have a baby, I, there, there's a problem there. Right? Yeah. And I, I get if it's like you can't have an abortion after like six months. That's stuff different. like that oh, where yeah. the baby that's is That's a fucking born. baby. Like. A late abortion, like that's that's some different shit because it's like you had all that time to make your decision. Yeah. I mean, for some people, they literally never know they're pregnant though. But in the majority of cases, like, yeah, bro, if it's that far down the road, it's like uh, I, I could see why there would be issues past that bro yeah you see them people like outside the the uh what are the, what's it called Planned the, Parenthood, Planned Parenthood hmm. out there protesting yeah yeah I oh just, my god bro, I just wonder like what their daily lives is like like how are you just out here protesting for people that are already walking in like what is your impact gonna be anyways like the person yeah. that's walking in isn't like bro if I see one person with an with a sign I'm gonna cancel I'm not gonna do it like fam no motherfuckers out there fucking holding up signs and shit like bro you gotta do something else with your time dog yeah, yeah. He also like with, with the what's it called okay to play devil's advocate like the I forgot which fucking um like anti-abortion fanatic said this and the argument for like rape fucking nerds like the the, the rape aspect of it is that yeah she might have got raped but that has nothing to do with the child that that's the argument Aside from that the fact that the nigga that put yeah, the child in her. raped me and it's like think about what the fuck the mom has to go through every single time she's raising the kid don't get me wrong she probably still loved the kid but that's trauma for her and maybe that's not gonna help her raise the kid right bro, because she's thing. been through so much you're talking about someone else's situation bro like exactly. why are you focused on someone else's situation if you don't believe in abortions and don't get one what that got to do with what anyone else is doing you're talking about oh it's life I'm preserved man. 
bro, there's other ways to get. You want people to start fucking throwing themselves downstairs and shit? Is that what you want? Because the motherfuckers don't want a baby. They, yeah. They're not going to have a baby. Yeah, <laughs> like, there's a reason. Like, motherfuckers have <laughs> been having abortions for a long time. Yeah. Like, yeah. Dolphin diving off a 12. <laughs> <Fam, laughs> <Yeah. story. laughs> I'll just hit that, hit that Call of Duty fucking straight dolphin dive, bro. <laughs> Belly flop on the pavement. Take two. For real, yo. It's like, <laughs> how, how, how would you prove that? That, like, I, I helped her with that. Hey, <laughs> you think this is the ignorance they was talking about? <laughs> it's like, yo, I don't know what they were talking yeah, about, man. We never get dog, just kick her. But man, I just <laughs> bro, punch certain, her hard as fuck. Shit, it's like, bro, what are we talking about, man? I just want people. I just want more people to go to. But this is so I think, scary. I think abortion, honestly, it's a distraction. Now I think about it, I think it's been a distraction for the past forty fucking years. Because when you really think about this, like you're really trying to govern what another individual does with their body. Like, why do we continue to talk about what other people want to do with their babies and their does bodies? Does this kill the argument of population control? Yeah, just, again, let's talk population be- control. The more abortions, the better off on population <laughs> For control. Real, yo, like- <laughs> you know like, hey, China, China, what you think they doing? You get one kid, one kid, one per, kid per family. Yeah. So what you think happening when you have another one coming? It's not coming. Kill it. No, <laughs> just kidding. I'm just I'm playing. Okay. That- it's not coming. Get the pesticide. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we off there. Straight yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, we're canceled. Yeah. Okay, okay, look. Th- this shit is pretty scary because now other red states are incorporating this idea because now this... The, this is like a statement made by the Supreme Court. Other white states. Exactly, mm-hmm. like Mississippi. Mississippi is going to probably be the next one that's kind of... Like, I was talking to my professor about this, and this motherfucker was saying that Mississippi, Mississippi. was incorporating shit, this idea, and since the Supreme Court was kind of mum about it, it's like, well, what else could we pl- pass and shit like that? Yeah. So it's like, other red states, I'm just like, damn, bro, that's not that's not really a good sign. And also... Mississippi is no place to raise a child. Definitely no, not. Definitely not. No. Who the fuck want to be in Mississippi? Why are you bro? living in Mississippi? <laughs> hey, if you live in Mississippi and you fucking watch the pod, comment below. You got Please. Gotta, <laughs> just let hey, us know you alive, Hey, bro. it's my birthday. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just pod, man. You know. <laughs> also, like, if you're in Texas, like, you can drive across state lines to go get an abortion in a different but, state. Yeah. But yo, how many people have money for that type of shit? Exactly, and that's Who, why I, gas I, I, is I be, expensive. I've been thinking the same thing, but other people, and exactly, you don't know what their situation is. Some people, they might have to literally like they have strict parents. They got to be home, and they literally don't even have like there's no time for them to literally just dip out. And a lot of a lot of girls, their parents don't know they get an abortion. That's part of the reason yeah. why they get in the abortion. Like, bro, I cannot. I'm fucking 16, 17. You might not even have a car, dog. It's like, don't 16 and 17 year olds need to know? Like, they have to notify their parents. No, 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 no. Planned Parenthood. No, nah, Planned Parenthood. They, they low about it From what I've heard Okay what I've okay They're like a cool aunt and uncle Exactly ah, that's, that's why bro Because it's the girl it's, it's her body Because a lot of parents bro Think about all the girls That's on birth control A lot of parents bro They're not letting their girl Get on birth control Like they yeah, For some yeah. odd reason But they don't believe in it Whether you it's religious Got some religious Muslim parents <laughs> Exactly bro So that's why pa- Planned Parenthood You go in and you rock out They the parents <laughs> nah, They rock out that baby That's what they be doing bro That's <laughs> some crazy shit Yeah that shit's crazy bro I just don't like the idea of people making laws about what people should do with their bodies. Yeah. I, I, I think that's kind of like, you know, that's kind of out there. It's you like know? you can't have tattoos working at McDonald's. It's like, fuck Okay, you, but no, no, well, that's different. That's different. McDonald's is a private corporation, <laughs> so they can do whatever they want to do. No, they're franchise. They, each one is private. You can have different rules for each one. But I still think it's a dumbass rule that you can't wear earrings as a guy or, like, you can't fucking wear tattoos but, okay. as a guy or, like, a girl. It's okay, like, but that's a little that's different, my though. Body. But no, that's a little different. It's if exactly you, if the you're, same if as you're, being pregnant, no, no, no. bro. No. It's exactly <laughs> the same as being pregnant. If you're working no. for a company, they can set whatever rules they fucking want to, right? It's like, I'm the company, you do what I say, or it works somewhere else. But when it comes to the country, it's like, this is a federal offense for you to, like, make a decision for your own body. Right. That's when it gets a little bit tyrannical. Yeah. It's like, where, where are we living at now? Are we in America or are we in Nazi Germany? And this is a decision that's going to make the weakest link even weaker. Bro, I just like and You know what I mean? What are we even talking about? Like if it doesn't relate to you, bro, why are you even in other people's business, dog? Yeah. We we have too many fucking liberties in this country. Like you see them motherfuckers in Afghanistan. Do you think any of them are like, no, 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 this can't be done. This no, bro. They just trying to fucking be okay and not get killed by the Taliban and shit. Like they trying to just stay Bro, meanwhile, we can just fucking blab we about anything. About we can yeah. sit there and sit, spend all day protesting outside of clinics. No, you shouldn't be able to do that. Man, do something with your life, you fucking bums. But look, while <laughs> we on the, while we on the com- topics of babies and we all serious, y'all hear that new Baby Keem? Uh, <laughs> yo, that Baby Keem shit. Uh, <laughs> nah. I man. see why they did the baby. <laughs> baby oh my Keem. Goodness. Okay, let's let's talk about it. All right. I feel like it was this is exactly where we were supposed to go with it from the abortion combo. <laughs> Kendrick and Baby Keem got a new uh, song out. Baby Keem just dropped his album. 
It's Range gar- Brothers. Range Brothers is the song. Um, what y'all think about the song? Y'all liked it? Did y'all even like Kendrick's part? Did y'all I like? Man. Bro, I didn't even get the Kendrick's part. Cause Baby Keem is. I can't listen to that nigga. I, I, <laughs> he's one of them rappers, bro. It's like I'm just not gonna listen to this. Kendrick, nigga. why are you? Ra- I, I get that he's your cousin, but you need to be helping him in the studio. Don't get on and give him a 16. <laughs> Help him in the studio. Help him. Cause I'm hearing the hook and I'm just getting mad. Like <laughs> I'm like. All right, I get that Drake did his shit with Smiley, but then Drake bodied it, made it some jumping shit. Yeah. Bro, why are you just getting on songs? You top already did one moment, song with Baby moment, Keem. Top of the moment. Bro, I, <laughs> like, man, that shit, you already got on one song with Baby Keem, and yeah, it was cool. We liked enough. your verse. Yeah. This new shit, Range Brothers, bro, that shit should be called Range Others. Oh. Yeah. Put, some, put some others on that shit, and <laughs> you don't get on. Put fucking Baby Keem's bro. Like, put one of his homies from the block or something. Don't get on that shit, bro. So it's what, what, is, what is it about Baby Keem that you hate so much? Is it the, the song? Is the, it the song lyrics? is what I hate. Oh, is it the lyrics or is it like the content? The is lyrics, it his voice? Okay, the content, okay, okay. the lyrics so, and the content. Baby Keem and the song, like he he does so many different flows on it that I don't like. I can't find s- one I like. Yeah, I, I I liked one. I liked one that he did. And then the rest, I'm just like, what the fuck am I listening to? What's this up with Kendrick, that? though? Kendrick shit annoyed bro, the fuck out you of gave me. me so, you gave us so many amazing projects. You're an amazing artist. Bro, you can't. You were sitting in the studio like, yo, well, everything he's saying is fucking resonating with me. Yeah, bro, nah. nah, that shit was weak. I that saw, was a wasted I saw, K-Dot I saw feature. The, I saw the funniest TikTok. They're like, um, they, they were listening to the top of the moaning, top of the moaning part, and they're like, that's how um, the song went top of the, I don't even remember that shit, but it was garbage. Bro, because I thought he was gonna go back into the he flow. You was talking about some females. But all and shit he did too. was like like sixteen bars. That's it. And then he was out. And the the TikTok I saw, they were like Kendrick fans just trying to tell everybody his shit is cool. And this guy's just like rapping that part, top of the moment, top and he's like crying while he's saying it, just trying to convince everybody that Kendrick's still the GOAT. <laughs> yeah, but okay, okay. Honestly though, for Kendrick, it's like it doesn't make sense because it's like if I know my fan base. I don't think they want to hear me rap next to Baby King. Like, I don't I don't think that, like, I haven't rapped in five or six years. I don't think the first time they hear me is with a feature with this nigga. Like, I, like you said, the I first it, one was cool, though. Yeah. The first one was I cool. I like the first one. Range yeah. Brothers did not need that. And if you Baby Keem, like, bro. You supposed man, to be Maybe it's, that, maybe it's yeah. because it's your cousin. They don't even so have you, hooks. You're looking at it differently. But, like, fam, come on, bro. You got Kendrick on a song. You didn't want to, like, make it a better song. Like, this know. is the one you get in a verse from K-Dot on? Bro, come All right, on to, now. To, to make it less uh, negative, I do like the album cover or the artwork on the cover. Oh, yeah. great. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. It? We're listening to the artwork. <laughs> Who designed it? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't listen to the rest of the album. <laughs> I and did I won, bro. Did you had two songs with Kendrick. You had an album? Yeah. It was, yeah, it was like, an album. That's how the Range Brothers came out on the album <laughs> with the... And bro, yeah. Hey, we listen to that shit when we going out tonight. Yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah. Come on, G. Like, I'm gonna play one song. That obviously, I already heard the other Kendrick song. I'm gonna play this joint and see what you do. And as a listener, and I know many other listeners, obviously, are gonna go to that other joint with K. Dot first thing because that's what they want to hear is that feature yeah. with him. And you didn't show up. I'll, I'll say okay. Even though it's like he doesn't have his own voice, it's like it's like he's trying to sound like somebody else. But like by trying to sound like somebody else, it doesn't sound good. So it's like all right. I, you're losing on both fucking. You you're know, talking about bro. Baby give me baby a King, fucking yeah. Kendrick feature, bro. Niggas would think I'm like the greatest rapper ever, just cause I'll go. You got like, to body that shit. I'll show up. Yeah, yeah. just show up, bro. I don't want to hear about no bullshit. I, I wish I could remember the lines he was saying about some females and bitches. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. Bro, I was weak. But you got to understand, you and with Kendrick, Kendrick shit didn't move me either. Yeah, I didn't even get the Kendrick verse. So, <laughs> <sighs> so Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> no, nah, that, that that shit was terrible. Terrible, <laughs> bro. Well, I, like I still have hope for Kendrick because he did come out with that heat. Um, but it just feels right now in this moment, it's like it's like boxing. The tramp is a tramp for a reason, you know. Like if 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 you lose your belt, you're not the tramp anymore, you know. Like you just dropped out this fucking album. And it's like I feel like you're only as good as your last piece of work. That's what it feels like. That's how we're having this conversation. Yeah, baby King. Once he egg. drops some fire shit, we're going to be like, hey, hey, Kendrick, bro, Kendrick. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, bro, it's like if J. Cole was, what's J. Cole? Boss. Imagine, like, when Boss was coming out and he was getting songs with J. Cole, there was fire, bro. Like, it was like, oh, this, oh, this Ooh, is artist, bro. This J. Cole artist. Oh, shit. Yeah, he nice, too. Okay, yeah. cool. I see who. why you keep saying Boss up next. 
imagine if boss was just putting out bullshit like the first song was cool then you just hear boss on some like straight bullshit yeah. and kendrick's on it and it's like Ken- or sorry sorry and j cole's on it imagine we haven't heard from j cole in five years and we waiting for his project like bro what are you doing with the brand it, it just diminishes you the, fucking up the brand my boy yeah, I, I think it diminishes the value of both artists in a way yeah now it's i don't like, care when the next kendrick feature comes out with baby king exactly. i'm like all right Man, you whatever. understand why it's called dreamville because everybody's sleeping on that shit Man. no <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I should be a rapper. Shit. Baby Bro, King. SK on the track. <laughs> SK on the track. Y'all ain't ready Shit. for the raps. All right, I thought y'all a little, a little monkey wrench. All right, what are some of, like, y'all pet peeves? You know, like, like something that just really irks your fucking soul. Like, every time it happens, it's like, God damn. Oh, I got one, but go ahead. No, you go ahead, because I've been meditating, right. so. So, okay, fuck it. Oh, <laughs> shit, all right. I've been, I've been, I've been nah, trying to come call, it, but. It's it. not really like a pet peeve, and it might just be some rich nigga talk, so I feel like the viewers might not be able to, you know, relate, you <laughs> feel me? But whatever, though, I'll get into it. So, I'm at the restaurant last night, right? I get a, We get a nice-ass steak. Oh, yeah. Mm. Got that thing going. Filet it was mignon. A, this guy's a vegan. Filet mignon, psych. It was an Australian Wagyu beef steak, Ooh. right? Ooh. So... <laughs> And I'm not a big steak order at restaurants, but I was with my dad. I was with Tristan. So we get we get that. And I'm like, I'm down. It'll be cool. And it was actually fire. But either way, we get it, start cutting into it. We said medium rare. That shit is fucking red, fucking uh-huh. bloody on the inside. That shit is not cooked through. It's super rare. Like, too rare for anyone to eat. No one, even if you said rare, is eating that shit, right? Cut that shit in. Tell the waiter. And, bro, what I hate at restaurants, and this is why I don't even be ordering steaks like that. Because if you tell them, you tell them. All right, so I'll just tell you how it plays out. Yo, um, yeah, could we get this cooked a little longer? We want to, uh, so, oh, so you want it a little closer, more, a little more on the medium side then. Um, and Tristan's like, and he handled exactly how, what, what I would have, what I would have, sorry, I'm drunk. What, what I would have wanted him to say, I want a couple white claws. Yeah. What I would have wanted him to say, which was, um, oh, no, no, we just wanted medium rare. Because this shit is straight pink. And he's like, Oh, okay. First of all, I don't like the, the insinuation that we didn't... If I want something medium rare, that means a little bit of pink on the inside. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't be like, oh, so what you wanted was medium. No, yeah. nigga, I look at it. I want what I asked for. I want, you gave exactly. us rare. You gave Straight, us a cow rare, on the platter. Like, rarer than rare, bro. Blood Straight on plate, red yeah. on the inside. Horrible, right? Then he's like, and he's like, no, 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 we just want like medium rare. Oh, you know why? It's a little bit redder closer to the bone. I, I, I wasn't even saying shit. I had to point. Right there, yeah. cut right down the middle, because yeah. Tristan <laughs> cut down the bone. Let at me first, show you. <laughs> and he said, "Look, it's a little red. Oh, but let me check the middle. The middle was even redder. So it's like, <laughs> don't fucking play, like, talk Try about to explain oh, the to bone, me, yeah. bro. I don't get that shit. No, go fucking cook it a little longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the worst thing is if the chef takes offense and that motherfucker cooks the fuck out of it. Like, no, yeah, bro, burns, just make yeah. it medium rare. Try Did it again. come back? So after we had that little conversation. Um, and I was like, no, 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 look right. And I fucking went over and pointed like Good. it's fucking red. Don't tell me, oh, you wanted more. Re-. No, what we asked for. They brought it back. Perfect. It was perfect when it got back. So it was actually oh, nice, fire. Nice. It was super Yo, good, bro. So your, your pet peeve is like rare steaks. Delicious. Or like motherfuckers trying to I just, argue with you about something like I'm pointing out to you. like. Yeah, I, I don't like, like, bro, and this is why I don't like ordering steaks at restaurants. Because one, for me, you know me, I'm a lamb. I'm a fucking lamb connoisseur. I'm a steak connoisseur. So I'll be, I'm throwing my shit, but I, I, uh, I really marinate my shit a lot. I like to have yeah. a 24 hour marinade or even, yeah, you know, even yeah, if it's yeah, not that's that, the way to do I it. really like to season it up. But obviously when you're more high end meats, they're only going to put like salt and pepper on that thing. And, and maybe they have a little like, um, a little salt bay. Yeah, little, yeah, little, <laughs> little, little thyme shit on the side, and but some garlic. Yeah, they they want you to really taste a twenty eight day aged and shit, and a, but a lot of times it be hella bland. That wagyu shit, no, that shit was fire, bro. Mm. Because I guess wagyu, Tristan was explaining, like it has a lot more fat within it. Like I forgot what the word is, but basically all throughout it is a little fat line. So it's it's a really good, really mm. good cut. So it's fire, yeah. but I just don't like. That's why I don't like because they you ask for medium rare, bro. That shit is like <coughs> hella pink on the inside, and then you give it back, they're gonna just fucking cook the fuck out of it. Like yep, here you go. Yeah. And it's like dog, no, just give me what I asked for. Yeah, I ain't yeah, saying yeah, yeah. no. No, I want you to burn it. No, I don't bro. understand servers that try to like. Like, yo, so they just told you exactly what it is, and you're trying to give your comment in between Yeah, it. don't try to yeah, fucking yeah, exactly. That's the pet peeve like, right yeah. there. Fam, you not the chef. Don't sit yeah. here. Oh, so what you wanted like, was Like, did this. you cook this shit, bitch? Like, like, yeah, fam, like, look at it, bro. We're not going to go back and forth about, like, what I was, want. I know what I want. <laughs> exactly. You know? Yeah, like, come on, bro. Like, everyone, fuck, there's only, unless certain places I could see when they've, like, I, you mommy used to be like that, where they'd be like, oh, our medium is already kind of close to medium rare. So you might want to... Okay, that's one thing. That's, that's straight. That's but different. don't fucking... But, oh, so you wanted me... No, nigga. What happened <laughs> Medium was, is yeah. medium. Medium rare is medium rare. And this shit is rare, rare, rare. It it just isn't what it was supposed to be. Yeah. So that's that's a pet peeve right there. My pet peeve, on. man. Like, it's going to make me sound like I grew up in, like, Beverly Hills or Calabasas. But I didn't, bitch. You didn't. I grew up in the fucking... 
suburbs. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you grew up ghetto suburbs. No, no, yeah. The broke I, 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 like, my family was low, lower class, so it's like, all right, understandable. But after I explain what lower my, class, high class broke. High class broke. Perfect. You can still be a high class individual even if you don't got the funds. Ooh, Ooh look at I'm this guy. I'm a businessman. That's not true. A business. Because you could be a classy, <laughs> a classy individual. You can still learn them things. You know, you have manners and stuff. You're a classy person. But if you say someone's like low class, I feel like it, it speaks less on their their socioeconomical level. That's to more what I was their, talking their about. Their demeanor. Like you guys, you're a low class okay, individual. Okay, you know? okay, This motherfucker takes sociology. I see. I did actually. I did. <laughs> okay, okay. So my pet peeve recently, I just went to the fucking grocery store. And I understand that we've been in a pandemic and especially when the pandemic first started, those were the people that were working constantly, medical staff, they've been working constantly. There's people who just didn't get a break and we needed groceries. So those hella people in the grocery store, they have to organize lines and all of that shit. And I don't know why any of them were down for it. You get 600 a week off EDD, just saying. Facts, facts. But you can't just leave your job like that. You can uh, certain people, but pandemic, still. you could anyone could leave. They could have left it. How the time. fuck you gonna get groceries? No, no, that's why. But oh, okay. that's, that's that's on the routes. That's <laughs> yeah, on the yeah, routes, yeah. bro. You know, was <laughs> or okay, I'm not gonna say. It. I'll bleep it out. He was working at the routes, bro. They was trying to get him like, oh, bro, come on, can you work 12 hours today? Nigga, fuck you had me scheduled for like like eight. What are you talking <laughs> about 12? Bro, we need you, and they they didn't hmm. give a fuck about. Bro, I'm like, bro, you gotta get out of there. He got out of there. Six six hundred a week because they couldn't force you to work nowhere. Yeah, go on, yeah. Right, go on, go on. Okay, so I went to the grocery store recently, and I buy groceries, right? And we get a hell of shit. And then this lady, she keeps just scanning the shit and sliding the shit all the way to the end, so like I can bag it. And I'm like, what the fuck is Pick wrong up with fucking you? groceries? Like she thinks them. that I'm gonna bag it. Like I'm paying you for groceries, and then you're charging me ten cents. <laughs> Her bag? Yeah, bag Are you my fucking shit. crazy? Bag my shit. You're gonna, you better bag my shit. This is your job. You're getting paid to do this. I get it. When the pandemic first happened, I'm gonna help you out. It's, it's like the girl. <laughs> it, it's like the girl not shaking her bag. It's like I already put the shit in my cart Ew. and I gotta Yo, put them in a bag. Exactly, bro. Fuck that. I am not gonna put that shit in a bag. Are you psychotic? Because I'm paying. Look at the logic in that. I'm paying you for fucking food. Paying for the food. You paying for the bag. Paying for everything. Now that's uh, a pain. Bro, so I'm paying for the fucking bag. It's 10 cents. You better have a bagger right there to bag my shit. Or at least you, the person who's scanning my shit, you better be bagging Bitch. the shit as you go. <laughs> then I shit. might have Whore. some type of idea to help you. <laughs> like, I do not understand people. And also, if I wanted to go to self-checkout, I would have went to self-checkout. Yeah. I came to you for <laughs> <a> fucking <laughs> reason. <laughs> you oh, dumb shit. bitch. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? Like... I'm, oh my God, like, <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, yeah. how dare you assume that I'm going to just bag all my groceries? <laughs> it's the assumption. Hey, this is a TikTok. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this clip. It pissed me the clips. fuck off, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, like, who can relate? Yeah. Woo! Ooh, that old bro, logic. It, just, it doesn't make any sense. Like, at least attempt to put my shit in the bag, and then I'll help you. Yeah, let me interrupt oh, you. Okay, go, but, oh, I got it. Bro. You know, not you just sliding the shit. Don't then, slide yeah. it to the end like it's my job. Yeah. I'm paying you. Motherfucker. And you, your company makes millions of dollars. You're getting paid a certain wage. You better ba- you better do your job. You Where the fuck is the shit? bagger? She's and like, no, sorry, no, a bagger no, okay, called okay. out. So this is what happened. I I was like, I started mumbling shit. I was like, you get you guys get fucking paid for this shit. And I'm I'm doing it out loud. I got my AirPods on, and then I see a bagger come by. I was like, yo, could you do this shit? And then boom, Classic. she starts doing it. I was like, perfect. Yeah. Cool. He was over there carrying it. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You entitled motherfucker. Hey, I don't give a fuck. Bro, you know what's crazy? Before you was rich, you worked at Rouse too. Yeah. Was bro. you ever bagging? Yeah, bro. I bagged every single quick. cake. Yeah. This nigga bagged quick, so he got he got a place he coming from too, cause you know uh, the grind. I fuck all that shit. I'm not here for Spoiled doing your job. I do my own job. Yeah. I work hard and enough. I do it well. <laughs> <laughs> I would never be bro, fucking that shit slacking. Piss me the fuck up. It's like hilarious. I called this dude. I FaceTimed him, and I was yeah. just expressing my feelings on this shit. Next week bad. we when come was with this. Was this recent? This. Bro, I've been sweet. thinking about this for a while though. Like every single time I go to a grocery store, I go to self checkout. That's me. That's on me. I chose to do. Chose that. to. Yeah. But if I'm going to you, you better bag my, my shit. My body, bitch. my choice. Yep. Exactly. Yep. yep. Bro, I oh we should do this pet peeve shit more often. I got a few. Yeah. More. A lot of pet peeves. What you got? What's your pet peeve? I got two. I got two like very. Fuck. Hey, can one I tinkle for next week? Yeah. Yeah. Go run. Go run. Go run. All right. Let's pause it. Let's pause it. Bro.
But yeah. What's your pet peeve, yeah. motherfucker? Come on, man. What's Tell your, your pet, pet peeve? No, I got two. Like very. I got. I'll give you the, the small one. <laughs> one. I don't like them fucking. Do they intertwine? No. Okay, go ahead. I hate sphinx cats. Whoa. What? Sphinx. Th- th- them cats with no with no hair. Oh, oh a bald cat. They look, they look like nut sacks, bro. I, I don't I don't like <laughs> that. <That's laughs> nasty, bro. Don't ever fucking show me your cat and this nigga don't have hair. Bro. Yeah, my uncle had an old cat and it started shedding all its hair. Went bald. Oh, God. and you didn't like it, did you? Did he have cancer? Yeah, he's, no, you didn't. Nah, I just went bald. Yeah, see, that's a pet. I was surprised it was still alive. You got pet peeve written on that's your face. That's a literal pet peeve. Holy shit! I literally shit. hate their soul. I will kick <clears throat> fucking sinks cats. If you fucking have a cat and you're like, oh, I got a cat. Its name is Rufus and he's he's nice and he's cute. And I see that motherfucker don't have no hair. I'm not talking to you. We have a problem. All right, that's one. Another one is, is when we stand. You know this one. Mm. You know this one. Is when we standing at like a red light, and somebody's hitting the crosswalk, and they keep hitting that shit. Why? Oh, yeah. Why? Same why as like elevators tell me, tell me. Because it's like nigga, it's not gonna move faster the more you hit it. Mm-hmm. So it's like you standing there hitting that shit. So what are you five? Yeah. I don't I'm know. So, it's like it's what like, if it's saying wait, wait. Yeah, wait, but then you make it a beat. You're like, wait, wait, wait. See, oh, but there, there is no beat. I try. <laughs> there is no beat. I have like very weird pet peeves. But it's like, <clears throat> like let's say like we're. I don't know. It's like maybe you're impatient. I'm. I would consider myself a pretty patient person at times. But like, you're pretty patient. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's like, why the fuck are you just continuously hitting that shit? It's not gonna go any faster. Or like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, no, no. we we should have more of a pet peeve segment on on this podcast because I got hella pet peeves. That like just I air just, them out. Yeah, yeah. What motherfuckers week. that don't know how to hold a conversation in text? Texting and talking are two different things. Like talking is like I can see you, I can make you know. There's little nuanced things, but texting is like if you're dry. And like, we're talking I, dating, I, I, right? I, or just just talking, just talking stage. But it's motherfucking like, you oh, talking dry stage. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're I'm not talking, dry oh, texting. You're, you're talking about re- oh dating. Okay, see, that, that's why I, I, thought, I was like, I thought you were just saying in general. Yeah, because like, I'm you're a we're, dude. We're all exactly, dry. exactly. <laughs> that's why. Dude, that's like, why. Because for me, anything. Yeah, that's why dating. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. For yeah. me, anything after that, like I'm a horrible texter. With like anyone that hits me, bro, I might hit you hours later. Cause like. You might text me and I'm just busy, bro. And then I don't think about it till like later that night. And I'm like, yeah. should I even still text them back? Like, yeah, but yeah. It makes, and dating wise, yeah, yeah, that's facts. If you just well, drive text, at the same it, time yeah. with dating, there's different types of people. Some people like Facetime, bro. Yeah, like, but that, you're still a, a dry phone. ass texture. Yeah. You yeah, still, that, that still hits a pet beef. You a dry <laughs> yeah. texture there. Yeah. I'm better at Facetime, so you're a bad texture. Is what yeah. you're really telling me. I I think I'm kind of okay with it just because i i realize that i'm i'm a pretty bad texter it's fucked up yeah it was <laughs> fucked up. Oh, <laughs> bro, you see? no no it's good now. it wasn't dangling that's why yeah oh i hate when that happens bro don't feel if like you have real pet earrings they would they would fucking dangle the real bro shut the fuck up the real <laughs> the real yeah don't but, be uh, a dry texter <laughs> but yeah um it does depend on the type of person like like think about it if you're like 27 28 you didn't have your phone like that. Like, it's crazy. It's how we were introduced to our phones. You know, so it's like, it's understandable. Like, what if you're dating a fucking 30-year-old? Which you would. You like older women, right? I do. I got to give with some older women. Hey, that's my goal tonight, bro. If I don't pull a 45-year-old, I'm done. Don't put any goals. No expectations. No expectations we're like just going to have fun. And if people come to us, that's that's how it is. Hey, if you a sugar mama... <laughs> yep. That's what's up? Bag right what's there. up? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> But shit, yeah, pet peeves, you know how that shit go. Yeah, I like this pet peeve segment. We yeah, gotta, we gotta yeah, do this yeah, more yeah. often. All right, so we, should we talk some bullshit? Joe Biden, there's a new vaccine requirement out. Yeah, hit him, hit him, yeah. hit him with that fresh takes, Keith. So Joe Biden recently just made this uh, an executive order. Mandate. Or a mandate, mandate. Executive order mandate. All the same shit to me. Um, that if you are a employer of 100 employees, Employees, hundred employees, so everybody, hundred or more employees, yeah. hundred or more. That means that not a mom and pop. He's requiring those employees to either have a vac- proof of vaccination, proof of vaccination, or you get a weekly COVID test. Weekly COVID that has tests. to be negative. Yeah, kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense. Can't lie. I guess it makes sense. COVID. It, it it does make sense. I do understand that aspect. Like, yeah. For the most part. But I don't think this is the way to make people get the vaccine. Is it Just not, though? For that, or, that or a weekly uh, that or a weekly, uh, weekly test? Weekly test, I'm totally fine with that because yeah. that's, not, that's not... But it's either or. And niggas not going to want to keep getting that weekly test. 
Yeah, because that takes time out of your day. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Higher scale shit, all right. We have seen, like, we've, we've been in COVID for, like, a year now. To almost two. Almost almost two years, right? Like, at this point, I think we all are able to see that COVID is an agenda. Okay, keep, Can, like, keep going. Would you, would, you, would you disagree with that point, or, or would you agree I mean, with that point? I mean, I got to see where you're going with it, but I think yeah, I gotta COVID hear more. is more I gotta a hear deadly more. virus that people are getting. <laughs> okay, but the way that it's been politicized, the way it's been used to devise Americans, the way that it's been used, like, okay, think about the incentives. When has the government ever really gave a fuck about your health? Right, and then for them to say, "All right, we're gonna give you a free hot dog. You could play the fucking lotto. You get free weed. You well, get free weed because, for a vaccine. That's you get gonna, free donuts. Because like, at this point, it's like people are dying, and people just refuse to get it. So they're like, "Fuck it, we'll throw whatever at it." Because the rate of death is is fucking up the economy because we keep having to close down because people keep dying. So that honestly makes sense to me. I'd probably throw some shit a, in there too. Okay, okay, all right. But it's a vaccine where you still might get it. And you still might transmit it, even though even though, even though even though it's less. I got of a, some for It's less of a pain for, for you that. individually. <laughs> keep going, keep going. No, it's less of a pain for you individually. Great, but again, my body, my choice, right? No, Why am not, I not allowed uh, to make the decision going. to not get the you vaccine are. if I don't want to? You are. If, you what are. if I what if I don't want to get a rushed vaccine that the FDA just approved last weekend? That well, we still don't have any like we. I mean, fuck the FDA. Ninety nine point two percent of the people that have died from from a uh, COVID have not been vaccinated currently. And then on top of that, you get the choice to choose yourself if you want to get the vaccine. But for you to then go work at the say, I'm going to fucking say I'm going to Maestro's and I'm going to go eat. Yeah. If I'm going to go eat there, like I might not I might want everyone either vaccinated or tested yeah. frequently because don't go getting me sick when I'm trying to eat my little way goose, my little That's Australian way goose steak, right. man. So it's like if you work in someone else's enterprise, the same way you was talking about the tattoos and the jewelry. Nigga, come vaccinated or come tested. Let us know what you got. Okay, but look. Are you getting shot? <laughs> <laughs> All right, but look. But look. That's, 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 the, that's the issue. Check this out. Check this All out. All right, but look, but look, but look. Now, the argument is we need to get the unvaccinated vaccinated, right? Mm -hmm. Before, it was the Asian motherfuckers. What Why? You mean? I'm just saying how, how the media has said, like, oh, people who are at risk for COVID, people who are like, we need to watch out for you know what I'm saying? I thought that like, was black people. But no, no, no at first, black I, and brown it was black people. It, it moved to black people. At first, it was old people, and then it was like, oh, the Asians got it, the Asians got it. At that time, black people was like, oh, I can't get COVID. And then it was, oh, black people, it, it's like it's like a racist virus. It just went across every single race. You know what I'm saying? It, went, it, 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 it didn't well, discriminate. It's not racist. Like everyone got it. Right, but I'm saying, but the divisiveness now, right? So mm. now it's like unvaccinated versus vaccinated. Every single story that comes out on the news is like, oh, this unvaccinated person died. This unvaccinated person, or this, you know what I'm saying, in the hospital. They they, they said they have a report come out, they, they wish they would have had it. You feel me? But mm -hmm. it's like, we don't hear about the stories where the people who got vaccinated got fucked up. Or, or literally die from a vaccine. Like, people are getting blood clots and dying from the vaccine. No. No, no, no. It was three, it was three girls. Wasn't it three girls off it's the way, no, no, There's way, way more the now. Johnson there's Johnson. way more now. But the statistics is not... Is, is like enticing Very, for what, people. Point five or what? What's the percentage? I don't percentage? know. You Come on, bro. I think it's a baby ass you, you took stats, but okay. I, I don't. I don't. I personally don't like know stats. it's a baby no, 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 ass listen, percentage. Because it, it's ve it's very minimal compared to the people. But uh, the death toll are, for the under the only people dying is the motherfuckers not vaccinated. Yeah, it's what they say. It's, it, it's a weak argument just because <laughs> okay. the, 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 the stats of people who got affected by the vaccine is very minuscule. Bro, it's just not that deep to me. Like we get the vaccine for the fucking flu, we get the vaccine for polio, and motherfuckers not dying when they get the vaccine. And the same thing shows with COVID. If you have the vaccine, you're not dying. But like, bro, I I, I see that the in the way that the media like in the news constantly cover it. it to me, it's like, bro, who cares? If if you have the vaccine, who cares? Like my mom all the time. Yeah, more and more people are giving. I'm like, bro, okay, but yeah, that's the same with everything. Every unvaccinated person, if we're talking about the flu, if you don't have your flu shots, yeah, you're going to see a bunch of people dying from it. And I get, as that's why I get as a country, you need to keep people from dying. But as an individual, I don't care what people are doing because, nigga, I'm vaccinated. My mom's vaccinated. Okay. If she get it, I, I trust she's yeah, going to yeah, be good. Yeah, this is a standpoint for, like, people that are vaccinated. Okay, but if it works, why are you worried? If the vaccine works, why are you worried? Exactly. That's why. That's why We're I don't get We're worried that we can still contract it from someone who isn't No, I don't care at all. If I get it, 
I get it. I'm already vaccinated. I'm gonna be. So good. I still so think if you're we're all gonna get it. Why do we need to force people who aren't vaccinated to get it? Because as because a nation, you're trying to keep people alive and stop the spread of this stuff because it fucks up the economy too. But that's why, as an individual who has no stake in it, I don't care. Like, if you don't want to get vaccinated, I don't care. I, I'm so tired of hearing about COVID, honestly, about yeah, everyone dying like. and stuff like that. Because it's just like, bro, if you dying, the only people that are really dying that we're seeing the. All right, I've heard cases of people that are vaccinated, and that's really unfortunate. It's a small percentage, but the majority of people dying aren't vaccinated. So I'm just like, bro, we don't talk about the flu all day long. We don't talk about people that get pneumonia all day long. Bro, I don't care. Like, get vaccinated if you need to. But at the same time, as far as the requirement, I don't have an issue with it, bro. We're not in Afghanistan. Afghanistan, other fucking places, they don't have a choice. But us, we can sit here and fucking jump on both sides of the fence and have all these debates. It's like, whatever, bro. Doesn't that Which sound a little mean? tyrannical, though? What? I'm going to force you to get look, a vaccine. Look, you're not forced. Okay, okay. No one's forced. I, no one's forced. You have two options. No, you either get it, tested or you get vaccinated. If you're going to oh, work yeah, at yeah, someone yeah. else's establishment, it's you're working for someone else. If they're, So the only people that could really have an issue with this are the business owners. If they're saying, fuck that, why do I have to make my staff have to do these things if they don't want to? And then the, the past that is they're going to say, well, because you have fucking people coming into your business that could partially be affected by this so we're trying to keep them safe so they're coming into your establishment yes you have to have all of your employees either tested or vaccinated so we can stop the spread if niggas don't want to get vaccinated get tested so we know if you have it or not it does make sense i feel like no one could tell me it doesn't make sense to get tested regularly if you don't have a vaccine it's like yeah get motherfuckers tested i don't want the nanobots and in that case get or if is that for testing <laughs> the fuck is that <laughs> Is that like a testing thing? You get nanobots? <laughs> what was the last thing we spoke about? We were talking some, about vaccine he, and uh... He said some shit. He don't want to get to something. Oh, yeah. I don't want to get tested every week because of fucking nanobots. What are nanobots? Yeah, nanobots are small microscopic technologies that you can't see your witness that could be on the tip of a fucking Q-tip and go into your brain when they do that fucking COVID test and they shove that shit Two oh, miles, do two miles swap. up your nose. I never got that shit, bro. I did that shit, bro. I would never. Yeah, because you was sick, sick, but... No, I, I went would. to Kaiser, and they didn't have an option. It was like, all right, you here to get tested? I'm Mouth like, yeah. Mouth swab or nose swab, and not that like, deep shit. They did the uh, say ah, and I was like, I say ah, ah. And then he was yeah, like, Yeah, I don't right. do the deep shit. He was like, all right, I'm going to put this in your nose for five seconds. This nigga said, five, four. Slow ass count. <laughs> three. Right, and, 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 but the whole time, he's swirling it. I'm like, yo, you need to get out of my brain, dude. Well, they already got yeah, your brain damn. once, though. Still, that's my Bro, point. and see, that's, I don't a, that, my DNA. that's another thing about y'all non vaxxers. See, <laughs> y'all be thinking, like, oh man, they're trying to, bro. And I, I, I'm a low key taking Bill Burr's point, but like, why would the government be targeting all the niggas that listen? Like, even if we were like sheep, why would they be like, yo, let's get all the niggas that listen so that then when we get them, all the niggas that didn't listen are still going to be left? All and right, it's listen. like, y'all be thinking you're going to wake up in like one of the movies where like you wake up and like everyone's gone. And you're like, yo, we the only ones here. Nigga, if everyone's gone, I want to be gone with them. I'm dipping. I'm not trying to be the okay, last okay, one. Okay, okay, okay. Look, look, look. For all the anti-vaxxers, look. Do, can we, like, are we in agreement that this was a natural virus that was in a lab where they injected proteins into it and then they had an outbreak into it, right? Oh, I have no idea. So I don't know. The, I don't know if you saw the John Stewart thing. Like, the, the lab in Wuhan was literally called Corona. Coronavirus, sorry. Oh, shit. Yeah, so it's called coronavirus. So, to that extent, it's a man-made virus. Because we're fucking with something natural, and then it spread. Right? Mm. So, if it's a man-made virus, what do you think the healing process is? A man-made vaccine. That's deep. Do you feel me? Like, like look, think about it, like... As much as vitamins you're going to take, as much as, like, fucking tree sap you're going to be eating, whatever the fuck it is, sea moss, whatever it is, it's not going to heal that shit if a man made this. But Damn. I also do not like the fact that they're pushing it onto people in this way. Like, for example, like Draymond Green, you saw the interview with KD. They were yeah. telling him to apologize. They're telling him to apologize. They're telling him to apologize. And what did he end up doing? He didn't apologize. Stuck to you his know? guns. Exactly. So most of the people that don't want to do take the fucking vaccine, you guys are pushing them even further away. Most people are waiting for it to be FDA approved. And I did see Hell Joe Biden nah. say... It's already FDA approved. So what now? What are you waiting for now? Bullshit no, no. That, that, that's why. It recently got FDA approved. So that's why I think that like Joe Biden explaining that shit, 
I guess, but I've never seen them push for something this hard. Like, I'm because vaccinated, we've never y'all. had a whole fucking country sh- fucking shut down. If they and plan to shut the motherfucker down. And it, well, yeah, let's just fuck up I, the economy. You know, you, know, you know where I think they fucked up is that when they let us back out again, they should have had people show their vaccination cards or negative test results to go into buildings. Well, they, they did I think like that would They didn't do it, bro. At the, like 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 uh, sports events, sports events, yeah, sports events. Yeah, Staples Staples yeah exactly. They should have done Stadium. that with everywhere. Yeah, but you just said you don't like them forcing it on people. I feel like if they did that or like Coming gave a fucking it. ticket for somebody not wearing their mask or something like that, motherfuckers would wear their mask. Mother, that. a lot of people what are is not. America? What is America? Fucking privileged motherfuckers. If you was in China, you're not even asking twice about getting no vaccine. You're just getting but it. But that's why we're not in China. Yeah, and we got all these liberties where, like, it's pretty straightforward. Niggas is dying from the virus. Niggas got to get this shit so niggas don't die from the virus. And we like, nah, but what y'all really doing? But it's like, bro, they already... Okay. Bro, every single Republican political person has already gotten the shit. All the ones that were campaigning against the shit, they all got the shit. Trump got the shit. Everyone that you speak of, like, that is doing, everyone in politics, they all got vaccinated. Like, everyone is getting vaccinated for the most part. And then it's like, if you're not, okay, get tested. Because niggas want to know, do you have COVID or not? Because since you're not vaccinated. What about natural immunity? Herd immunity. That's, yeah. What about, no, no, natural immunity. How how the fuck are we supposed to go to natural immunity? No, okay, listen. Well, listen. Well, everybody, 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 everybody take a step back. Well, everybody it, take a fucking it. step back, all right? Yeah. All right. Like, when you get the flu, right? Yeah. Which is COVID. COVID is just super flu. When you get the flu, you really don't get the flu twice, like, back to back. You feel me? So With or like, without the flu shot? Well, we saying, you, you can still get the flu without, with it or without it. I'm just yeah, saying, yeah. like, when you get a certain, like, whatever ailment, disease, virus, like, once you beat it, you're not going to get the same one twice. Right, mm-hmm. your your body's gonna recognize the virus, and you're gonna be good for a certain amount. New of time. strands, though, new strands, though, that they gonna come out with the echo yeah, virus, they got right? Delta, and then they got but some people one. have gotten it multiple times. Though I see what you're saying, though, as far as that immunity. Is that, does that not count? Like, it, does that not? It, it counts, but if you if you a nigga that's vaccinated, I probably would be like, yeah, you gotta get tested every week. At least get tested. That's the only thing I, I do like the aspect that he gave two options. People who don't want to get vaccinated don't get vaccinated. Get your ass tested. Get your ass tested. So you can like, sit at the table with the like big dogs. Much, like, if you got some scientific evidence of fucking nanobots in your fucking brain and all that shit, understandable. Bro, but, but well, I don't think uh, you got that shit. So <laughs> I feel like people should go get tested, bro. At least get tested. That's not that hard. You put a fucking cotton swab in your nose. And bro, they just putting in some water. But I've never see. I've never done the deep that deep shit. I would. That's my I thing. The, I was never down. The ones that yeah, the little drive throughs they'll let you just kind of swab your nose yeah. or you just swab your mouth. You don't got to go deep. The ones that stick it deep. No, nah, no. Nah, that's one thing don't I was never Kaiser, down to. Don't go to Kaiser, y'all. Don't okay, go to Kaiser. Honestly, just do bro, it yourself. Okay, look, I had the fucking beer flu. So you know when you have it. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you have that shit. So it's like it's not even a like a, like maybe if you're asymptomatic. I don't know. But I'm just saying like. Bro, but we didn't shoot the pod for, like, almost three weeks. (laughs) Just to be safe. Just to be safe. You know? But, hey, who knows? You know? I I mean... I really don't like... Okay, okay, all right, all right. Y'all don't like that shit. What about Ivermectin? I heard Ivermectin was working. Ivermectin. Fucking Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Oh, yeah, that Joe Rogan Ivermectin. So, what's up, bro? Why was everyone going crazy just because Joe Rogan got COVID? So, Joe Rogan got COVID, and you know how Joe Rogan is kind of like... Like, I guess if you want to say, he's pretty objective, like... If you want to say that he's against the vaccines and he he's he's mainly against the fact that how the government is handling it, mm-hmm. and you know that he's like he's like why aren't they telling people to be more healthy? Why aren't they telling people to better their diets instead of or just telling them to go get like a that. fucking vaccine or <sighs> do certain Bro, things? Like, so the reason that people are getting upset at Joe Rogan, this fool got COVID, and people were telling him. Yes, yes, yes. Now you're going to feel the wrath of this fucking virus that you keep going against and all that shit. Joe Reagan's a fucking beast. Yeah. This fool got bread. This fool had <laughs> a coronavirus plan intact. Yeah, yeah, Bro, he, he literally had it intact. And um, so he was taking this drug called ivermectin. And ivermectin is known to be used in animals for like ringworms and parasites in their stomach. But that's only in large amounts. If you take large amounts of I- ivermectin as a human being, you're probably going to die. That's, that's, not, that's not some safe shit Got for you. you. Ivermectin, they have doctors that prescribe it, but they prescribe it in the pill form or capsule form. But, the other yeah. form is like you inject it into an animal. 
But we're so stupid as a population. You got CNN and all them reporting like he's taking horse worm remover. And exactly, shit. Like, bro. Like, bro, I, why are y'all even in this nigga business like that? That's what I wouldn't get. In. Like, bro, who care what Joe Rogan's taking? Get better, bro. Yeah. We need we need some more podcasts. But that's where we're at. at and as he got a country. better. Yeah. He got better. And they're mad, bro. He got better in two days, and his feels positive. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That but is they, crazy. He said, he said he took more than just that, though. He 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 said in his words, "I threw the kitchen. We threw the whole kitchen sink at Hell it." yeah. But he took the same shit Trump Trump took. I forgot what, what the other called? thing is. Um, but something molecule. No. Some shit. The same shit Trump Trump was on, like his main dose or whatever. But it's like, bro, who like cares? With, antibodies. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, what something, it was. Something bro, something it's like, like bro, who cares with Joe? Like, bro, he got sick. He got bread. He's gonna do what it takes to get better. He was better in two days. But we just talk about shit, bro. And everyone's like, Joe Rogan's taking horse fucking tranquilizer to, to get could do COVID. Like acting like he crazy. Like, bro. First of all, he got better in two days, so how could you even say shit about what yeah. he took? Like, who cares what he took? He it's better. because the fucking media hates Joe Rogan. The mainstream hates they Joe Rogan. Turned on especially, him. like, liberals. They don't They don't even take the fact that he's pretty objective with what super he's saying. Objective. I would say, like, he's not even super conservative for you to really super pick a side objective. and say, like, all right, I'm going to He's liberal guy, and yeah, conservative yeah. views. Yeah, yeah, he has different point of views. Yeah, I think... Bro, I think we should literally all be that. Instead of us all picking a side, whether you're liberal or, liberal or conservative, the true perfect politician... Would be someone who's like, I don't really give a fuck how you're categorizing me. Yeah. Let me just focus on what I think is right. And we'll so I can have done, allies yeah. on either side. But really, that would be the ideal even president. Why would you be openly saying, yeah, 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 I- I'm liberal. So I'm really serving to, to make sure these people are happy. The same way like Trump, the Republicans don't fuck with him anymore. It's going to be hard for him to get reelected because I don't think they'll ever put him up as their candidate again. Well, well, ah, well, you look, well. Look what Joe Biden's doing, yeah, man. Well, I think with Biden in office, I think if Trump runs again, then those motherfuckers will be hype. I don't a little know, bro. Bit, the bro. Will be I feel, hype. dude. I feel that. Too. I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the citizens. I'm talking about Republicans in office. Like that. That's what we're talking be, about. They wouldn't. You care, think bro. they'd elect him as their candidate again? Oh, yes. that mother. The way that he moved people. Think think about his reign. But I'm talking about if we're just talking politics, the niggas that all turned their backs on him and didn't back him once he was still saying no, I won. I don't think that group of people that would that he would have to rely on to then have them uh, have him elected as their candidate. I don't think like Bro, I think that's it was the, the perfect consensus. time for them to turn their back on him. There was BLM, there was coronavirus, all these things. He wasn't handling it well, and. What president president will handle that well? But they didn't. They didn't. They turned their back on him as soon as the election changed. I don't know. I think the general consensus is like it's going to be hard for them to elect him because he kind of made a mockery of like the whole Republican Party throughout his time. Um, but I mean, shit, I could be wrong. We could see in four years, but I, I, I think that's yeah. the consensus is like yeah, they, yeah. he's kind of out in terms of that that standpoint. I just feel like that mother because look look how the world is influence influence kind of runs the world. You know, it's like who, yeah. and and I I gotta blame it. I gotta give it to the media. Give them a applause because these motherfuckers are definitely one of the highest reasons for mental health and depression and all this type of shit that they put in, all this negativity that they put onto the screen and everybody just eating it up. You know, like especially like older people, boomers, like even even younger people. They will always just like like they'll they'll be so sad after watching the news. Yeah, you know, like just with even with the Joe Rogan shit, they're trying to tear down somebody that is just being objective. You know, it's like you have to pick a side. And you like, have yeah. to pick a side. Why, why did you say only young people should get the vaccine? And now look at you, you got cut. Like, bro, fuck, man, do something with your life. Like, why are you even worried about this nigga? Like, we'll talk about Joe Rogan because we have our opinions and we're fans of his podcast. We might disagree with the shit he say, which is the beauty of podcasts. And it's not about people just agreeing with your takes. It's about people caring about your takes. But man, motherfuckers like that don't even watch him. Did you hear he got it? Yeah, look at him. Now he got it. Bro, what are you like? What is your energy like where that's like your happiness? That's your pride for the day. You fucking fist pumping in the crib like, yo, Joe Rogan got it. And look at everything he said. And then the nigga's fine two days later. Like them same people that are mad, he's fine two days later. It's like, bro, do something with your life, bro. Like, what are you doing? Were you even worried about this nigga? Like, I heard he got it. Cool. I hope he gets better. I'm not sitting there like, wow, after everything he said, he got Bro, he should die. If, if you're one like, of those what? people, if you're one of those people, fam, obviously by you talking about COVID, you obviously had an understanding that anyone can get it. So why are you even that astonished? This nigga got it. Anyone could get COVID. Oh, he's yeah. not vaccinated. Then pray for the nigga. Like, what do y'all? Yeah. What's wrong with y'all? Like, I don't know, bro. I feel like weird. we're all gonna get it. And not it, me. 
I feel like it's gonna happen. Not Wh- whether you're vaccinated or not, we are all gonna get fucking COVID, and this is my this might be a terrible manifestation, but that's pretty much what happened. They say go. They say go in the house, right? When when you're in your house, you don't really interact with other germs, right? Like it's good to interact with other germs, other things outside, like contact certain things, so that your body gets used to it. You're inside, you build your own antibodies, whatever. All right. Now there's this deadly virus outside. Okay, everybody locked inside. Now go outside where the virus is still there. Motherfucker, like it didn't go away. Motherfuckers are still getting that shit every day, but now just go back outside. And we know you've been inside for the past couple months, so you're not gonna not go outside, right? Yeah, you're definitely yeah. about to go. So now everybody gets it and it's like, hey, everybody got COVID. It's like, well, yeah, what the fuck did you think was gonna happen? The non vaxxers got COVID. Bruh, did you hear what Jimmy Kimmel said? Actually what? you you told me, you told me, you tell us. It's not the it's not the best. What do you say? Well, okay, so, so Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right. It, I, I, add me in if if, if I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, tag, so, you, tag team. <laughs> so this motherfucker Jimmy Kimmel, he was having this speech, uh, or you you know how he has his monologues yeah, monologue, every yeah. week. Um, he was talking about like due to the rise in these COVID cases, um, there is hospitals that are lacking ICU beds, and. They were saying um, something about people who are vaccinated. And his, his take on it is that, oh, oh, I, I know how to handle this problem. If, if you are vaccinated and you need an ICU bed, go right ahead. But if you're unvaccinated, rest in peace to you, sir. And go take your uh, horse, um, what was it called? Hearse, horse dewormers. Wor- dewormers. Like, bruh, are you kidding me? You got all this influence and you're telling people this type of statement that people should just go die instead of instead of actually like why didn't you get vaccinated why why are they wasting their resources on you wouldn't trying to get vaxxed but they're dying <laughs> just, just yeah, like that's what that vax was for your your <laughs> argument but fuck out of here you're your ignorant. argument was like <laughs> we're supposed to save all the people right by telling them to get vaxxed okay, and get okay. tested Okay, but look, 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 I got you, motherfuckers, I got you, because as soon as we talk about divisiveness, look how su- how fast y'all started, like, oh, they should die or they should not die, what about, what it, What does it matter, like, okay, what if you're unvaxxed, but you're young, right, and you're in the ICU versus someone who's vaxxed and old in the ICU, who you does, well, does that not with... matter, does that not matter, Honestly, I feel if it's like... the ICU and you got shot in the head, well, or, the, well, or you're if, not vax, you got shot in the head. I'm not gonna serve you versus somebody who's vax, who's or taking, somebody that got if, into a DUI. If, accident. if I'm really addressing his point, I, I mean, I think it's more, it's more like facetious, like he's like joking. But realistically, bro, the niggas that have the vax aren't even in the ICU, so <laughs> like it's there's space because the motherfuckers not vax, the ones in the ICU anyways. Because if yeah. you vax, you probably don't need the ICU. You probably just have the crib. Maybe you're sick if you got it. I just think that's a blatant statement, and you're kind of like he's adding on to the sides. And it's like you, we could, dude. He has such a big influence. Like he's been, he's on a late night talk show that that kills on YouTube, that kills on TV, or I guess TV. Who the fuck cares about TV anymore? Yeah, but you. But like on the internet, anything like him saying this type of shit is just gonna create more animosity between humans. Listen, 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 listen <laughs> in listen. America. Linda, 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 listen, listen. You know that that man does not write his own script. I know that's how. So I was that. it's coming from a higher up. That's like. You're gonna say this. You're Jimmy Kimmel. You're the fucking push puppet. the agenda. You're the mouth. Thank you. There we fucking go, dude. It's it's only been like 31 weeks until he <laughs> he said that. <laughs> 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 there we go. It, this whole virus has been we politicized <laughs> and has been made an agenda. This is honestly the super flu that they made in the lab. All right, we already know these motherfuckers want depopulation. We already know that. Obviously right. now with they the just, abortion laws. They just killed off a bunch of motherfuckers. <laughs> and right? all the niggas that aren't vaxxed are the ones getting killed off, though. Bro, no. Think about it. Now that's what they're telling the people, right? But really, a lot of the motherfuckers that died was really old people. Bro, 99.2% of the motherfuckers that died. Those stats are coming from John Hopkins. Okay. We can't trust John Hopkins. So John if we Hopkins. can't trust stats, then we don't. We, we, might, as well, we might as well just go blank statement because then it's like nothing matters. No, anymore. you have intuition. Feelings, no facts. Intuition. Intuition is useless. Intuition. I just feel like I just feel nah, like nah. motherfuckers <laughs> aren't dying. I feel like you're cheating on me. I feel like you got to talk, <laughs> talk to, the, to, the, to the fucking, uh, the, you said I feel like cheating on you stupid. It's like your barber. I feel like you're cheating on me, man. I don't want to cut your haircut anymore. I, look, I would encourage you, Travi. I would encourage you to get into your 
feelings more, dog. Are you yeah, not feeling exactly. How do you feel? Fuck the numbers. <laughs> fuck the stats. How do you feel about it? Okay. But then again, talk to someone who works in hospitals, and they will literally tell you that at one point they didn't even have enough stretchers for people because everyone was dying. They literally had to move people in the parking lot. Then there was just packaging up the dead bodies into like, I, I don't know if it wasn't moving vans, but it was like they were literally just putting people in there because they didn't even have enough space. So like, bro, if you talk to someone who like literally works in this, like that's what they're, they're what are they called? The... Frontline workers. Frontline workers, but what do they call them? The medical. RN nurses, registered nurses. Uh, what's it called when it's <coughs> important? Important people during this time. Impor- like no, not Fauci, important. Fuck, um, no, CDC. Bro. Essential, you know, the, essential workers. Essential workers. <coughs> bro, you talk to them, bro, like, they will probably <coughs> snap on you, fucking tweak on you if we said half the shit about, like, the, the virus. not Because, bro, they literally seen people dying day in and day out. And, you know, they half looking at these niggas like, you didn't get vaccinated. And we're yeah. fucking all at risk body after but now it's gotten better because more people are vaccinated but bro to them bro they were literally just seeing it firsthand like dead body dead body dead body dead body like that shit i got a lot of respect yeah for i them, saw a lot of nurses them that came out about that too they were talking about like yo i just saw like a five-year-old die they saw it firsthand covid and like yo that's not some that's not some healthy shit to even yeah view you know that's that's very traumatic you know especially what? like that that's what a lot of nurses said like for example like hospice hospice they they they're like they're used to like people who are old and passing away but the toughest ones for them is when they're young it's like how how the fuck are you seven years old and you don't even get to live your life all right so y'all getting emotional about it um, you said from, to feel from, you, exactly. From, right. Right. Oh my god! You all just right. said to all get right. into but your feelings. That. I, I just kind of drink myself. All right. So, this, <laughs> so then on the logical side, me sitting at the top, mission accomplished, depopulation. Well, yeah, for the niggas not getting vexed, it's working. For all you motherfuckers. Well, no, I'm mean? straight. Y'all about to die. We just might not have kids, <laughs> but we straight on right. life. You about to, all right, all right, yeah. Well, yeah okay. Sterilize they me. Also, Sterilize also, me. Also, also, I can also. have a kid. Hey, bro, but we, you know, look, we could talk about this shit all day, but yeah, yeah, I would yeah. rather hear about a, a cop putting a flashlight up a teen's ass. <laughs> Fill us in. What's going on? Who got the story? Who, who got the scoop? Who got the scoop? <laughs> Shed some light on this. This is the shit we got to be talking about. Uh, Don't be ignorant on yeah. the pod. Let's talk about some shit. This is some ignorant. Yeah, I don't know if I have the scoop. Uh, hold on, pause it real quick. I had to find it. I don't think I have that one. Bro, let's talk about Lieutenant Wilf- Wilfredo Roman. So recently, um, a Chicago Wilfredo. Police Department lieutenant allegedly shoved a sounds, flashlight bro. into the butt of a handcuffed teenager. <laughs> this is a crazy headline, bro. Um, the incident took place on evening of February 9th after a 16 and 17 year old carjacked a man at gunpoint and took his Mazda. 17 year old identified in court documents only as ZK <laughs> he robbed him. <laughs> yeah. um, and surrendered to Lieutenant Wilfredo Roman and uh, other officers in an alley after attempting to scale fence. Um, once the teen <laughs> was <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's keep going. Once, once the teen was handcuffed, he complained that the restraints were too tight. Were too tight. Yeah. Um, Roman told him. Roman told I'll the show teen you what else to was shut tight, up. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Ignorance. Uh, Ro- Roman told the teen to shut up before <laughs> approaching him behind and shoving a flashlight in between his cloth buttocks. Um, when the suspect yelled out in pain, Roman responded, "That's what you get for carjacking." <laughs> and then the, the well, tw- okay, <laughs> I'm actually not that bad anymore. Fair, yeah, because yeah. it didn't penetrate him. He said, "I, I read the story. Yeah, so yeah, it didn't, it didn't penetrate get penetrated him like that." Um, One dude he threw the pants though. <laughs> no, yeah, over the pants. So he just jammed it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come uh, on now. And okay. then the the 21 year old law enforcement eight. Uh, what they mean is he was in the force for 21 years. Um, enforcement enforcement veteran has been charged with aggravated battery and official misconduct. He surrendered to the Bureau of Inter- Inter- Internal Affairs on Wednesday. All right. If, I think, if you I think we good for a that. car, you might need a flashlight showed up your ass a little yeah, I'm bit. I'm not that mad at that. I'm bro, actually, at gunpoint? Holy shit. I, I'm taking it back a little bit. Yeah, because okay, cause a, a different case, bro, there was an officer that literally like He shoved, was black. I'll just say sh- that. The officer? No, the kid. Bo- oh, the kid, yeah, kids yeah. were black. There was because there was a sh- an officer like 20 years ago who like com- completely sodomized the kid. Like he he shoved a broomstick straight up his ass, fucking punctured his. Uh, oh, that was in New York, right? Yeah, exactly. Fuck. Punctured his without fucking, the pants. Yeah, bro. He yeah, shoved yeah, it in yeah. There. Bro, he literally yeah, punctured like, his fucking um um what's it called bladder right. and then something else. 
fought in his yeah, like rectal bleeding. Yeah, he, he fucked shit. him up for sure. This one, you shoved it up through the pants, no damage, no penetration, and you just robbed a nigga of his car, bro. If I'm the nigga that just got robbed of their car and the officer's like, bro, I shoved my flashlight up his ass a little bit, <laughs> I'd be like, all right, thanks. And, he, <laughs> and, and you know the Good argument looks. the argument in court for the officer's attorney? It's better than beating him with the flashlight. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> he said Shit. that. Yeah. He said that. This flashlight was about this small, man. You yeah, know? come on now. <laughs> that, that, I think that's one of the funniest court cases you could possibly go to. It wasn't that big. Bro, it wasn't that big, yo. Like, he could take on. way more than that up his <laughs> ass. <laughs> okay, you know, yeah, I can't even be mad, bro. Like, that's not the... Because you've seen cops do way worse, really fuck somebody up. You jamming your flashlight up his ass a little bit after you just robbed a guy of his car. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's I justified. I can't get that's that justified. mad. Like, whatever. But do you think it's I'm fair for the officer to go to prison for 22 years? Nah. 22 seems very, like, extreme. That's dramatic. I mean, I guess there probably should be a penalty if you try to shove your flashlight up a dude's ass. Probation for a month. Like, that definitely Well, now isn't... you're getting 22 years of someone shoving something else up your ass now. See, you just think That's everyone crazy, be getting bro. raped in prison. That's really what <laughs> <laughs> A police officer? He but, for sure Nah, nah, because they be indifferent. They, they don't be with the general population, you know, most, like, cops and shit, so he'd be straight. But, it, bro... I can't be that mad at him. Like you shoved it up his ass a little bit. It was through mad. the pants. It's justified. I yeah, think and, that's he just, <laughs> and if anything, I don't know who the guy that got robbed of his car was. If he was black, it'd make me feel better about it. Cause it's like, yeah, bro, he not racist. Cause he shoved it up on your behalf, behind, like on this person's behalf who got their car stolen from him. But it's it's not the worst thing you could do to subdue. He a didn't guy. let a black man get robbed. Yeah, if but that's I, a story. I don't even know. Well, if that's no, the dude still got robbed. Yeah, he got his car took. So whatever, bro. If I if I rob a dude's car, I could probably take a little flashlight up the booty. But sixteen oh, the and seventeen year old, that's pretty traumatic. Like, think about it. You ain't just never going to rob one point, bro. <laughs> With the blicky too, he didn't, yeah. it's not even like bro, just, New York is bad right now. <laughs> bro, in New York, you know, you, you know he they getting they a, he, he getting a crazy charge just off having the gun alone, bro. New York is crazy. If you just have a gun on you, like um, what's his name? Tax Stone, bro. He got locked up. Y'all don't even know, but Tax Stone got I locked up. Stone. He got the for having a blicky on him. That alone is gonna give you hella hella time, bro. It's just years off rip just off the fact you had a gun. But bro, yeah, I'm not that mad at it. He put his he put the flash head up dude. He could have done worse. Could, exactly. Not okay. the worst thing. Especially if you were struggling have too. You, bro, have you seen American X? Yeah. No, no, I haven't. Oh What's my that? What's god, that? bro, curb stomp. <laughs> oh, oh I, I've heard about it. I've heard about it. Oh. And the nigga got raped in it, right? In yeah, 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 bro. He couldn't even sit down on the seat, bro. That movie was graphic. I remember seeing that shit as a kid. That was, and a I was like, that's some real that shit. That is a really good movie. Yeah, that was a good. Movie. I wasn't even mad at the racism. I was like, damn, I get it. Dang, I gotta watch that. He was trying to get it. Nah, I'll just play. Nah. <laughs> classic, <laughs> classic. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> it's it's been a great birthday pot. I can't. Oh lie. my god! Well, I had a great this time. This pot man. did not disappoint. I nice like to see pussies. I look good though. Lost some brain cells, gained some brain cells. It's just been a great time. I'm not gonna you read off the do. fucking topics list like I did last time. Remember, I was yeah, like, "Who the fuck wanna do that?" I cut bro? it out. I cut it out. I cut it out. I'll cut that out too, bro. Nah. Like I'll cut it out if you want me to. <laughs> Straight <laughs> up. <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro, you fucked up these last five minutes, and now yeah, they're gonna fucking turn it off. Nah, but, <laughs> <laughs> hey man. Bro, the stop for this. Drink some more white claws. The really good podcast. Hey, Tori, cue up the music again. Let's let's play the song again, man. But really good podcast. We've had a really good time, man. Hopefully you guys have had a good time. You guys have had some fun. Hopefully we're not too ignorant for y'all, man. We're, we're trying our best, man. I just got a lot of ignorant homies, we okay? We get more ignorant. Just, yeah, maybe that. Maybe that. But it, it was I'll a good time, it. man. Thank y'all for joining me on my oh, little birthday podcast. That. It was a blast. Uh. Hey. <laughs> Yo, man, we for show out this motherfucker. Hey, it's a really good motherfucking it's podcast. Much, really love good podcast. <laughs> Much love to y'all, man. Thank you for joining us on episode 31. Thank you. We was in and we was out, man. Like we about to go turn up, about to go party a little bit. You know, it's still my birthday week slash Woo. weekend. So we about to go get a little turned up. The White Claws was hitting. Yes, sir. Everything else was hitting. Everyone was everyone was getting their shit off, man. We here. We live. We appreciate y'all, man. We out this motherfucker. Ooh. Gang.